Gang, the last chance to see the Are You Garbage live show is upon us. It's a mix of stand-up comedy, plus we play the little AYG with the crowd. Yeah, the last shows of the year are December 14th in Washington, D.C. At the Howard Theater. Get the homies, Let's get the go. bozers. Let's see you there. Then we're doing uh, two. One's already sold out in Philadelphia at the Fillmore. It's limited tickets left for the second show at the Fillmore. That will sell out. Let's get those tickets. Let's party, baby. Scoop them up. Love yous. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find it after group to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. Mm-hmm. We're in full Christmas swing here. Sure. Mm-hmm. Caught me with the mistletoe coming out of the shower. Okay. Hit me with a shocker. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. My co-host <laughs> is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? Garbage. He is an international businessman with ties to East German television. That's what he keeps telling me. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on oh, YouTube. Yeah. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking. <laughs> and obviously, the I ain't got to tell nobody in this room, the greatest website of all time, mm-hmm. www.patreon.com. <laughs> slash are you garbage, gang? Get over there. It's a goddamn party. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man makes us all look good, works the the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. <laughs> what up, boys? What up, pal? <laughs> we got Don Stavi in the building, baby. Yeah. The fucking kids here. I Look ra- out. I ran into this guy out in the story with a couple of goons all <laughs> wearing head-to-toe sweatsuits. We Real were. nice. We were. A <laughs> couple of apps for the table yeah. with Stavi. <laughs> No, it was like a super producer meetup. You, we, had your, <laughs> we had your boy. We had Eldis. We had uh, Sean of uh, Guard Dog. Sean, oh, yeah, the guard, the guard Dog. dog. Oh yeah, like, you told me it, about. We this. had three people who were, you know, who are responsible for millions of <laughs> sure. downloads a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just three fucking. It's three. Idiots. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just three. It's three guys who for sure three, are high. Three just <laughs> fucking morons in sweatpants. <laughs> and it's like. So many people rely on these motherfuckers know. for their entertainment, I I and it know. could go wrong at any yeah. moment. Uh, I really, we were walking back, I was like, wow, that's yeah. crazy. You guys all shouldn't meet up at the same time. You yeah, should be yeah. like, you know, like the tops of state. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, yeah. gotta take separate flights and we, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 Meanwhile, yeah. you're standing on the street in the store, you're trying to break a $5 bill. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, the long hair ain't lying, because we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. Mm-hmm. The kid does what we call in the business numbers. <laughs> Numby he does wumbies. a lot of numbies. He sure does. Moves a lot of tickets, gets a lot of views, and he's got a brand new Netflix special out right now entitled Fat Rascal. Give it up for the one, the only, Stavros Halkius, hey. everybody. There hey. he is. Hey. Wow. Stavi, the baby. fucking kid. You motherfuckers are real broadcasters. Huh? <laughs> Look at this shit. And fu- more at 10. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's fucking two and a half straight minutes of just <laughs> introduction, high energy. That's fucking insane. Thank I you, love buddy. this, dude. Yeah, this uh, you guys start the show so that if you showed this episode to like a senile old sure. family member, they would buy that you're like a radio. Guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like yeah, if they yeah, heard yeah. that, they'd be like, "He's oh, doing good. He's Henry's on, on the radio. <laughs> you know? He's a newsman." I my fucking podcast starts like. What's up? Yeah. Um, you have to get your leg up on the armrest. Yeah. Your grundle <laughs> show. You are, getting re- you are getting real relaxed over there. What's Damn. up, guys? I saw you just like eating grapes the one yeah. day. Just like. Yeah, we got my friend over here. He's fucking cool. Uh, what's up, dude? What's going on? What is the, uh, what's the budget on the sweatsuits these days? Nah, How many are you out holding? Out of control. Is it's, it? It really is out of control. <laughs> but no one wears them quite like it. No, yeah, you, no, know, you pull it thing. off. That's the thing. I do feel like it's, a, it's the kind of investment I have to make. Sure. I, yeah. You know what I mean? I like how, one, you called it an investment. And two, you, you have to do I it. It's a goddamn it. write-off. It's a write-off. I wear it to podcast. I wear it to perform. Sure. Uh, uh, no, dude, it's like when you're fat as shit, right? <laughs> I'm you, listening. You really, and boys, take some notes. <laughs> yeah. Sing it, sister. <laughs> Fellas, get the notepads out. Uh, wipe the ketchup off them first and then take a little, take some notes. You really, I've been a class in when it gets cold, track suits. Mm-hmm. When it's warm, Hawaiian shirt. There that's you go. You know that's I mean? easy peasy those for a big guy. That's all you need, Those man. are the two 
There are two. That's the two types of clothing that look better two x to four x. Yes. yes. Everything else looks horrible. You're not wow. Look, You've done your research, man. Yeah. Come on, dude. A guy, run, a fucking skinny guy, running around in a Hawaiian shirt. It's like oh, I hate it. When I'm the, not I even. Hate it when those when those got on. real popular with the skinny yeah. guys. It's God out. Damn it. It's, I had just started kicking them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the same thing with the sweatsuit. Sure. It's like, yeah. Unless you are on a soccer team and you are on like an like a Indian run sure. for the team, it's like you're not allowed to wear a tracksuit. Yeah, that's it, fully how I feel. I yeah, agree. it goes from like too comfortable to elegant. Like you look like you. Lo- it's yeah. it's part of who you are. Exactly. It looks really good. I feel nice. I feel nice. And then you know. This is a nice middle ground, a nice little... Yeah. Nice you look good. Flannel. You came nice in looking up. nice today. Thanks, Nice button. Yeah. No tea, right? What's that? No, no tea. tea. Yeah. yeah I, what do you mean? I can see his belly button. I let, I let, <laughs> I let the titties hang, for sure. Because they were giving me... I let him sh- breathe. They were giving me shit because uh, I got a couple uh, Carhartt sweatshirts, mm-hmm. and they are a nice little cover-up, too, yes. for the big guy. But Absolutely. you got to rock them with no tea. Mm, the Love, sweatshirt. He's Love raw dog no in a hoodie, tea. which is you I are get. in dangerous territory. Yeah. There. That's a lot. Of, you could lift the breast up and just avalanche of sweat come up yeah. under that. That's where you're oh, a little yeah. in trouble. I would. It doesn't feel comfortable with the t-shirt though, and I can't yeah, do the white. That's beaters. an error with t-shirt. That's a t-shirt error. That's not a sweatshirt error. See, you need, okay. you need a stabby t-shirts. in your corner. Yeah. You need more comfy t-shirts, buddy. Do you do the tank tops? Oh, I'm a big tank guy. Are you? I'm well, yeah, a big tank guy. Dude. I never know what to do with the bottom of them because they're too. They're they're like they, it's, it's like a like the rest of the condom down there. Because yeah. I can't. Yeah. You know what they I mean? They go a little long. Yeah, I can. I can't tuck them. You can't. You can't tuck, tuck them. No, <laughs> that's a power. Then look. it pulls it down. Can even I be more? honest? Yeah, I would really respect if you tucked it, <laughs> but you would have to go very short shorts. Yes, you'd have to have. There is a little. You can walk the line of just athletic enough, fat guy. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you said goodbye to that years ago. Oh, a while ago. I feel like that's yeah, the... Yeah, I stood at the pier and watched, uh, yeah, it, watched yeah, it sail yeah, off yeah, the yeah. You can still pull off, like, old linebacker vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? like, exactly. He used to be in shape. Exactly. He's still, yeah. he's still got a good frame. I have weirdly large calves, you know? <laughs> so it's like, if I'm wearing short shorts and the calves are glistening, mm-hmm. I can kind of pull it off a little bit. It, mm-hmm. The legs do depend on it a lot. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm, st- I'm much... It, we're talking like we're talking like you know JV football coach vibe. Mm-hmm. Sure, we're talking yeah. like you know mm-hmm. like not gym teacher kind of you know teaches one health class. Mm-hmm. No one leaves with any information <laughs> that <laughs> semester. That's kind of the look if you're going if you're tucking the tank. Yeah, honestly, you would need a whistle and a cap, <laughs> an unbranded cap, That's and then an you're unbranded. good. Unbranded, yeah. You can't just... say anything on it. It's got to be just plain navy blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get a clipboard, you'll be all right. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 Gandolfini yeah. hit a certain point in Sopranos where his belly was like perfect, mm-hmm. and it looked the shirt looked good tucked in, and the belt yep. was just slightly on that angle looking down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah, like if yeah. he lowered his sunglasses. I know like that's what the belt looked. No, like. No, I know we're in the same position where our fitness goals are slightly less fat guys than us. Mm-hmm. It's like less fat, not in shape guys. I mean, if you're quoting Gandolfini as, yeah. at, at any point yeah. for a body, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's like in, in Foley's wildest imagination. Sure, he can yeah. get there. It's, it's season one, Tony Soprano. Oh, Every, well, season, season one. one season no, one's yeah, the pilot. The pilot is a skinny mini. Yeah, yeah. The, the pilot, pilot is a good looking guy. The yeah. pilot is like, oh my God. He's would, running and yeah, shit. Yeah, he looks yeah. awesome. Yeah, give me season four, I'd be happy. Four? Yeah. I'd probably go three just if we're really shooting. Okay. If we're really shooting for the stars. <laughs> and I'm at season. I'm at season six. I'm actually, I'm at like, he just had a big dinner on his balcony sure. in Italy. Sure. And he ain't waking up from it right now. I'm, I'm past that. I'm, that's where I'm at. I'm trying to make it through these last, uh, this <laughs> December. Once I'm done this promo run, uh-huh. if I, if I make it out, um, then it's like, you know, we're going to try and get shot try, down a little try bit. And get, try and get it back. Try and get to season three. Tighten it up so, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. That, fu- that is how fat you. It's funny. That's We've discovered a new scale of fatness. Yes. Is when the you're by. The seasons of Gandolfini. the seasons of Gandolfini. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fucking put up a poster and, like, I'm going to track my weight loss journey through. Am I season one? Am yeah. I season? You know, if I season, I'm at it. season four, episode three right yeah. now. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at where he's getting. Where he just killed Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look good. Yeah, yeah no that kidding. Is, that is a beaut- That's a place to be for sure. Oh. I'm at another. This is a new. I realize I'm at a different um, level of fatness now, where it's like I'm too fat to post black and white pictures of myself. Why? Because people will assume the worst has happened. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> If you see if you see a black and white, like I get people are like, oh, oh what I happened sh- to Tommy? Yeah, I should have yeah. said something. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, I just no. talked to him a half an <laughs> yeah, hour ago. <laughs> he was 
was at dinner. Uh, yeah, That's there's true. Yeah. So Damn. no black and white photography for I got. I'm <laughs> might as well be on the, away from sepia tone. Yeah, he might, as, <laughs> he might as well be on the back window of an Escalade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something like that. R.I.P. Right, yeah. Stop. Yeah, it. angel Absolutely. wings coming out of your head. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we got to get it together, but you know, you you boys know you've you've tasted the finer things, and it's tough. Uh, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough to bounce yeah. back <laughs> off, of, dude. I, uh, I'm an appetizer uh, guy, Ooh, like a cold seafood tower. I'll uh, tell you that. Nothing Ain't wrong with that. Shabby. The problem is, I like to taste. So I'm like, I see the apps, and like, and then you go, and you have like one or two. You're sitting there with four or five people. You have one or you have two in mind. Oh, we'll do this, and then that. And then someone goes, and that. And you yeah. go, I ever doing that? Might as well get of that. Course. And then you're like, fuck. Of Kippy, course. Kippy's come up with a theory. I have theory. a new theory. Let's hear it. I am, I think we, I think we should get rid of the main course. Mm. Just do all apps. You go out five, five people, mm -hmm. drinks, order eight apps. And then yeah. if you still want more, order, order two this more is, apps. You're just, you're describing family style eating. This is the, this True. is the standard but it, but in Europe. The, it's the when different I, of the dishes, though. It's the difference of the dishes. The appetizers you're, are always I'm the sorry, best thing. You have you think you invented tapas is what just happened. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Hola, this on is how fucking white trash you are. Is that you? Instead you, of bread, we press it you, down real fine and think, put garlic on it. No, but tapas is Five sucks. different types of chicken wings is tapas. <laughs> I'll do five medium, five, five mild, five of the homicides. Yeah. <laughs> no. But no, no, I'm with you, and I totally, that is how to eat. But dude, because yes. if you overeat on the apps, which we do, um, yeah. uh, you're there and it's like, then they drop like a steak, and I'm like, I feel like I'm forced to eat this, sure. and I'm sweating. I walk mm -hmm. away. I, my stomach hurts. And by the way, you, Just get for a couple, reference. you get a couple main courses, Yes, and you split them up. Love it. But no one love does that. Because when you're ordering, that. you're yeah. going, I want my steak. No, no, I want you my- You got to break yourself of that. Oh, that's impossible. Stop no, it. I mean, no, no, I'm, no. I'm only a man. You only really want two bites of the steak. That's all I want. It's what I'm saying, dude. You get the nice- You get a ribeye. I got, no one's taking the fat cap. That's mine. Get the, don't even dream about <laughs> okay. it. Okay? But- I'll slice up the rest. Sure. I'll slice up some nice marble Take some cuts. mashed potatoes. Throw Take them on a, yeah, there. Yeah, try this. Try that. Yeah. That's yeah. how, that is always how, that's how you well, got to eat. That's what we do. Group. When we go with a group, well, if we do, we like a nice And hold on, out. just for reference, we came up with this theory in a Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> when you were morning. <laughs> it was a flagship location. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. a flagship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the service was so slow that after we had all the appetizers, right. like, I can get the fuck out of here. Let's wrap it up. I had three drinks. I had, I tasted all the apps. Fucking rock and that roll. That feels yeah. horrible when the when there's I a was, huge gap. I in was you. dreading dude. the food, dude. It's brutal. We ate it. But. Yeah, of course, oh, yeah. of course. Right. Right. That's, that's, I already paid no, for it. You don't Margarita need food. like imagine imagine like that's that's like pausing getting a prostitute. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, imagine if the, she sucked you off and then was like, I'm going to go chill for a half hour. And you had time to think about yeah, it? And you had you'd time to think about it. You'd be like, get uh, out. Your dick gets soft. <laughs> yeah, it's like letting your dick get soft in the middle of buying. Uh -huh. You're like, I need to uh, yeah. you go to church. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that's what that gap. You can't have the gap. No. The yeah. main course has to hit. In a perfect world, you did the last. I would even say, I like a little overlap. Because sometimes an I appetizer, like a little overlap. Too. An appetizer has a sauce that I'm like. Sure. Maybe I want to dip, <laughs> sure. dip my steak in this fucking. And you always feel like a fat guy when you grab that ramekin off the off the empty appetizer. Well, you well, like hang slap on. You the that, fucking yeah. waiter's hands when he tries to get the sauce away. Like, no, no, I will be keeping this. It's just for shrimp tails, sir. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a. Bro I'm making my own broth. <laughs> I'm saving this. Bar <laughs> I'm saving this barbecue sir sauce for my dessert, sir. <laughs> Please get your hands off it. <laughs> I have a creme brulee coming, dude. That that actually happened to us in Greece. The first day that we were there, we we ate it. This place, uh, and they brought over a bunch of prawns, but they like table side serviced it. So they chopped the heads off, wow. pulled them out of the shells, and put them on the thing. Then the guy takes the cutting board away. I'm like, whoa, whoa, where are you going with those? He's like, you want the heads? I was like, yeah, I want the fucking Hell heads. Hell yeah, Jesus dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Suck awesome. those things dry. You kidding so they, me? These were already grilled, and they took. They were already grilled, and they brought them out, uh, and then they, and they, they took the heads off and the tails off, and then. You know, plated them with the two big spoons. Interesting. I love that when they okay. had the two big spoons. Can I out. ask you something? When did you pick up prawns? <laughs> when did you start calling shrimp prawns? I know for a fact growing up you didn't call them prawns. No, never. But these are the bigger ones. He was eating chess pieces. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I'll take two more bishops, please. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> ding me, will you? That's interesting. Yeah, started so, eating Lincoln logs. You learning prawns just is such and, a. I mean, they're di they're different than shrimp. I think they're bigger. Just, I think Australians just call. No, no, they're bigger. I don't know about. No, that. I'm telling you, they're they're they're, they're okay. bigger because I, I I started getting them 
Okay. Uh, at K. Clytus in, in Astoria. Okay. I still think <laughs> they're Just a called shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> There's you know, got to be some sort of difference. I, I would really assume. don't think there is. Uh, shrimp have one pair of legs that include claws at the end, but prawns have three pairs with claws. Oh, look at that. Really? I stand corrected. Huh. I mean, Foley had no idea. That no, that was no, the no. case. <laughs> what? But uh, as a man, I will say I am wrong. <laughs> Mine had wheels on them. <laughs> I was in a wheelchair. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. If you go out to eat with your, you know, who's like, if, if you are going out to eat, you're going out to eat with your, your boy, who are you yeah, going yeah. out with? I have a, yeah, a crew. Definitely, you know, Eldis, who you guys sure, know, your boy. super producer. Are you doing <laughs> dinner on the road after the show? Will you, will you Ooh, go hit a nice spot? Like? We or are you will... getting catering sent to the... Yeah, it's tough. Now, I'm like, this last run has been a, like, one show kind of theater run, nice. which is cool. Right. But um, I have, I've been trying to be a little less... A little less slutty, sure. sure. But we'll, you know, when we when we were in Baltimore, I had a big a big run of shows in Baltimore. Yeah, congrats, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that was sick. crazy. That was crazy. Um, and it was you know my hometown, so I have like a couple of my you know my best friends, my family, whatever. The day before, everybody that and everybody that like I have Eldis, I have my buddy Ben who uh, directed the special, mm-hmm. uh, Ben O'Brien, and my friend Christina who kind of just does like logistic stuff. And sure. these are like people I've known for. Ben is the newest friend, and I've known him 15 years. Man, you know, gotcha. like respect. So Stavi sticking with the crew. Keeping yeah, the yeah, yeah. new friends I, with no, Stavi. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Absolutely, making sure not. nobody's wearing a wire. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I know I can trust them <laughs> to launder money for me. <laughs> I know they'll take a gun charge if we get. Sure, you know, if you get popped, guys. If you're at the border, <laughs> you know how you know you knew this is a possibility. <laughs> Eldest, call your wife. Tell her you're seer in seven years. <laughs> you need a Ray Lewis in your corner. <laughs> absolutely, you you are the only comic. I could see sending envelopes of money to your friend's family. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's like in a pot out front of the 100%. house. <laughs> she gets some money. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, yes. We'll take care of her. Uh, we make her the, like, on page. We, we get her a couple no-show producing sure. jobs. <laughs> a couple no-show clip editing jobs. <laughs> She's sitting in a lawn chair out in front of a theater show. Smoking. <laughs> Where to the sandwiches? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll just, you know, we'll hit a, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll just really, what you described, we'll go crazy on the apps and uh-huh. just like everybody gets a little something. We got Italian, so that's a little less of a family style sure. situation. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like everybody gets their own yeah. bowl pasta, of pasta, yeah. but we'll, we'll You'll try. Dabble. You'll sure. we'll, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's it's. Are exactly you are what you, you scoping think. a good place before? Because like sometimes when we'll land, I, it's obviously we're doing the same thing. We're like one nighters yeah. in out, yep. and so it's tough, especially if you're in you know Cleveland at 11 p.m. Right. on a Tuesday. Right, it's right, like right. you're yeah, few and you're far between. Trouble. Yeah, no, we'll scope a nice place out. We'll scope it if if we have some time. Mm-hmm. We'll definitely scope a nice place out and like oh, really really do it up. And that's the thing. It's like. As many app, it doesn't fucking matter. I man. just want to get to the all. point. If the team's eaten, we're we're you know. Yeah. If it's like a designated dinner, that's not just let's get let's some. Eat. You're not just eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah We're yeah. going to dinner. It's good. The, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get there for sure. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll get that's the a drinks. great way to put it. We're gonna we'll get, get there. the drinks. We'll get the apps. Whatever the fuck. Who cares? I just want to get to the point where whatever town you're in, whatever the best restaurant is. You can say, "Hey, we close at eleven. We're gonna keep it open yeah. for you." Yeah, that's, that's like Louis that's, level. You just want to get there. Big I think you that. can pick your spots with that. I think you can make it happen. Mm-hmm. I think you gotta. I mean, that's the problem with your show pizza, being pizza so in Toronto, trash, staying up late for us. I know. So trash oriented. There's not a lot of Michelin star no. chefs listening. No. To this we have one thing. guy. He's like, "I'm a general manager at Applebee's." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the cooks to give us five minutes. We'll be there in a minute. <laughs> we have a bag of loose mott sticks <laughs> yeah. for you guys. I'm texting them in order on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Kip, this is Ladder. Shout out to Ladder. Talking about Ladder Life. Talking about term life insurance. Mm-hmm. All right? You're hanging stuff up around a tree. You trip. You fall. You crack your neck. <laughs> all of a sudden, all them presents are going back. Do yourself a favor. Straighten the family out with a little term life insurance. And over at Ladder, we're talking no doctor's office. What? No needles. Huh? None of that bullshit. Up to $3 million in coverage. Three bills? You got to get approved. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to wait in a doctor's office. You'll fill out, you'll fill out a bunch of paperwork. Everything can be done from online from your couch just answer a few questions about your health and an application to get started and find out if you're instantly approved there are no hidden fees you can cancel at any time and even get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days look at that so get your get your stuff in order baby you're getting older i'm older he's older you got to tighten up the affairs a little line bit. it up ladder even made forbes best life insurance 2021 list and it's easy to see why because they're go-getters go to ladderlife.com garbage today to see if you're instantly approved 
That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. One more time, get a pen, get a pencil. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Yeah. Kip, this is Aura Frames. Shout out to Aura. Best present this holiday season. We're big fans over here. Of course. We love them. Got one at the house. Uh huh. Put it up there. Gang, if you don't know, every frame comes in a prepackaged gift box with no price tag on it, so it's a perfect gift so you can save on wrapping paper. Look at that. They're saving you money right off the jump. It does jump. come in a nice box, I have to say. Listen, it's a real holiday pleaser. I'll tell you that. Aura Flames displays photos true to color and automatically adjusts the brightness to suit the light in the room. Look at that. They're setting moods and bringing families together. Yeah, I did one. Like I've said, I got it. Uh, Denise. Denise got one last year for Christmas. She's Let's cut in. the turkey. All the broads got them. Everybody got them. They gave them to us. Everybody's got them. And everybody else is getting another one. Yeah. Hey, you get a, did you get a second home? It's a home run. Boom. Put one in the basement. I'll put tasteful nudes on there. Send them to I'll your I'll tell you house. what. If it didn't let you upload new photos, I could say that's one thing. But it keeps going. It's great. It's a gift that just keeps on changing, man. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Hey, some of those are from last year. Uh, <laughs> listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com slash garbage. That's Aura, A-U-R-A, frames.com slash garbage. Use promo code garbage to get $30 off their best-selling Hello. frames. Terms and conditions apply. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I think you get there. I think you get there, boys. Yeah. yeah trying, baby. Yeah. Um, you know what we uh, shout out to? We had in Chicago, Professor Pizza. You know yes, that dude? Yes, Ooh, yes, yes. He, came, he blew Great our pizza. dicks off, man. Great pizza. Shout good, out to good Professor dude. P. Mm-hmm. Damn. Unbelievable. And then I assume you're picking up that check, right? That's a oh, work yeah. event. Come you're on. Yeah. You got it. You got it. That would be funny. It's fu It would be so funny to be like, yeah, you guys want to split this? <laughs> <laughs> it would be such a... Or I'm like, get whatever you guys want. Like, go, go crazy. Can you hit him with the Venmo request? Yeah. <laughs> 1845? Yeah, yeah. It feels not... That is the most, like, immigrant shit that I'm just like... I, I would be off I literally would be offended if somebody tried to pay. Mm -hmm. And it feels good to pick up the tab. Sure. Feels, yeah, of course. When it's your fucking... When it's just your friends, when it's like, and even, you know, you're who just are like, you not picking up to check with? I mean, it's you mostly gotta you. Be rich you, also, you go down. You go you down. Gotta, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like if if they're if they're also rich, then it's like, well, and it, it depends how good a friend you are. You know, sure. Been, you know, it's like let's say the three of us went out to dinner. I'd pick it up, boys. I Sorry. think I would have to yeah. pick it up. <laughs> yeah. We would try because there's two of us. There is that yeah, makes you. more sense of like. That is true. We're only picking well, up one guy. If I bring dinner. Eldis, oh, you're bringing an entourage. <laughs> you know, if I, you know, if it's just I was going to get a reservation. If it's just us, then yeah, I guess two to one. I'd fight you for it though. Sure, sure. I might love do this, the fight. For I'd it. fight you for it, and I might uh, insist we go. If you did beat me, I might insist we go get some dessert that I pick up or something. Ah, like that. I love that. Man. You know, it's funny, something man. Like. I also Money. like we weren't going to go get yeah, dessert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how you're like, I'd suggest I'd dessert. Twist your arms. <laughs> that was that's the thing too. Money, no money. Especially waiting tables for so long. When I was a little kid, you know, my parents they they didn't, they didn't do they, they they did all right, but they didn't do great. But if we went out to dinner with like my cousins or something, my dad and my uncles would like proper fight yeah, over yeah, the yeah, check. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. They would it fight over week. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then waiting tables, like when I was waiting tables down at NYU, they'd be like, I didn't have this. I don't want right, this. Right, right. I'm not paying for this. Like, when, when did the, that culture change? It's very normalized now because you'll go somewhere and they'll be like, how, how many checks? And Ugh. you're like, just one. Well, he that. gets, he gets, that. he takes it as a Dude. personal offense. Well, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he get you, you have flashbacks of being the uh, guy, yes. a waiter who has yes. to do that. Yeah, it's fucked up. I mean, it's just like, and you're right. There is something to people who grew up rich that just like, I don't know, man. They, it's not a very sharing thing. Whereas like Crazy. if you grow up poor, everybody shares everything. Mm -hmm. You want to be the one who picks up the yeah. check. It's also like you sometimes aspire to that. Yeah. Some people can't pick. Like some people, you're like, oh, I got like. There were so many times where I had to be covered by a yes, buddy. Yes, yes, I'm, yes. And then yes, I'm like, yes. hey, a month later, I'm like, you got me at fucking O'Hannigan's or whatever. Of course, of course. I'll get the Blorney stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to O'Hannigan's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pay no other way around a fried mushroom. I'll tell you that. No, I mean, and the, you know, I had like when I was in Baltimore, I had friends who like let me pay less rent because I was so course, broke. Yeah. Of course, yeah. They were like, "Yeah, just live. You're a good hang. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we want to." The vibe. St Stavi I, brings the vibe. I really was pay. Yeah, I really got like a three hundred dollar a month vibe voucher, <laughs> like to live in Baltimore. It says that on the invoice. Yeah, and so I, I pick up every check. I mean, I, I like. It's I like that's the best part of. It's the best. That's honestly the best part of success this year has been like. Just picking up every check with my friends. Yeah, the fighting. There's not a lot of fighting going on with my family anymore. That used to. There used to be like a please. Now it's not even like a. Now everyone's just looking at their phones. Yeah. When the check comes out. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like. Stop it. We wrap this right, up here. I, I'd like maybe a 
slight pretending. A reach, yeah. Like, you know, the, the classic, like, date thing where mm-hmm. it's like you want your date to at least, like, pretend. Are you sure you don't want to split? Pretend, yeah. you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, my I'd mom, like my mom really leaned into that shit real quick. Yeah. She put up a fight for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> now she's halfway out to the car. Yeah. <laughs> ripping a heater. She's ordering to go as the check comes in. Like, no, 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 one more to go, please. I want to feed the dog a skirt steak. <laughs> <laughs> Just grabbing two live lobsters out of the tank on her way out the door. Henry, did you pay for these? I'm going to set these free. These two. <laughs> yeah, I, have a, I've, 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 I have a laundry list of people mm-hmm. who have paid my way yes, and yes, how, yes. while we were fucking super poor, yes, struggling. Yes, yes. And I've, I've definitely gotten, I've made some pay where I'm like, I've talked to them, I'm like, guys, I'm never going to be able to come up with the number that right, it would right, be right, right, and right. cut a check because it's just been it was like a decade <laughs> yeah but like i i, I went to the dominican republic with i to paid for my buddy yeah took care and i'm like all right that's i'm gonna have to do it in like events of course like hey i'll get this i'll bring you here we'll do this and it feels nice to finally be like which is so, you really got the best of that trade i mean look they were they shouldn't have given you that much money they were now, also poor the odds of of that paying off was so oh, low slim to nothing but the fact that they got what they got for their trouble was a depressed man on their couch yes, yes. And, and very depressed and you got you get to see their smiles light up at the Dominican Republic yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, so yeah, not yeah, fair yeah, 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 you yeah, were yeah, like yeah. a fucking cancer their in their home and up. you and you're you're also on vacation I know you're it's, not, it's, like, <laughs> it's a reason I get to go to the DR I'm like you want it my wife's like I don't want to go I'm like alright I'll take Pat yeah yeah, yeah 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 you're not standing at the edge of the pool watching oh. him swim like, right. like a dad watching Little League look at him go yeah that's my brother my brother my brother is on full scholarship with yeah, me for yeah. everything that I put him through. Oh, it's of nuts. course. Yeah, yeah. yeah he it. lets me know. Yeah, I mean, that about covers it. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. take him out the pizza. Or of something. course, of course. <laughs> well, you had the breadsticks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm getting it for my brother. Shit. He's like, I'm going to start cashing in some of those IOUs now. Of I'm like, course. you and you can for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. It feels it's good. just so weird to be like, all right, well, here's five hundred. Like, how yeah, are you going to like yeah, monetarily yeah. do it? You know, I know. There's no way to do that. You just got to kind of. Oh, I think you're doing the right way. Events, gifts, covering mm-hmm. shit that comes up, you know. Yeah. I had a buddy that I owed 500 bucks for for about It was Cassidy, years. wasn't it? No, no, no. That was that was back in Philly. That was that was that was business. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie had a joke about it, but his excuse was, what, you don't need it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was doing good. <laughs> That's a real dirt bank. Well, what do you, it's just going to sit in your bank account. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, what, I, my money will sit in my <laughs> bank account? I, owe, I owed my buddy from high school 500 bucks for about 10 years, and I kept every, yeah. you know, I, I get you, I get you, I get you. Never fucking broke my balls about it once. And yeah. then- Stopped asking probably seven years ago yeah. for it. And he never asked for it. So I always, every time I'd see him, and then, I don't know, what was it, like a year and a half ago, I hit him up. I was like, hey. Here's 250 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me another week. I'll have the rest. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you have 300 bucks I could borrow? <laughs> hey, could you break 100 <laughs> But no, I went over to his house. I was like, hey, I'm going to stop by. I was like, all right, stop by. Went over. I pulled the money out. I was like, cry- I was like half crying. He's like, I'm like, listen, you never broke my balls about this. I love you so much. Here you go. And he's like, I forgot I gave this to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, By the way, do you have any idea how like what inflation has done to that five hundred dollars? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like eight bucks. When was yeah. it? When was this? Ten years ago? This was yeah. This, no, this was probably fifteen years ago. Fifteen then. years ago, Toby, can you check five hundred? The, the I don't need to do no, that. No, no, no. Yeah. I'd love to no, see. Yeah, I'd love to know to this. Know. Thank <laughs> you very much, Mister Halkius. <laughs> I like this. What? I like this narrative. <laughs> What's the the money so f- equivalent? To 15 years ago was what? 2007? Yeah. It's probably you probably owe him at least There's like a goddamn 50 war bucks. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With inflation, yeah. you owe him 260 bucks. <laughs> Still? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Maddie, give me a couple of weeks. I'll get it to you. This fucking guy. I thought you were going to do something. Not, I thought you are not taking him to the DR. You're just giving him the money you owe him without interest. You're, gonna, <laughs> you're giving him less money. All right. How about a couple of tickets you're to the Philly show? You're over that. <laughs> hey, man. Over just zeroing him out. It's you're al- fucking rich now. It's, it's always been a dream to partially pay you back. <laughs> it's been hanging over my head for years, man. I, I didn't even think about that. Put that in a T-bill, will you? <laughs>
A couple AYG t-shirts. <laughs> Gotta smooth that over. Give them some Zippo style lighters. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> Fucking bastard. <laughs> you got that pretty goddamn quick, I'll tell you that. It's like you had it fucking ready over there. Could have said the internet was down or something. Made me look like an idiot in front of my friends. Oh. Just a truly diabolical move for the gentleman from Astoria. <laughs> 260. That's what... Condoleezza Rice jamming me up. This guy's a pro broadcaster over here. Jesus Christ. No big on that five foot. <laughs> Come on. Man, fucking pink mist. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pink man down. <laughs> I love you so much, man. <laughs> That's so funny. That's, That's so you to be still coming up short. That's the best part. Over emotional. Just to zero him out. <laughs> didn't give a, didn't fucking I hit his mailbox nice. when I backed out of the yeah. driveway, too. It's probably another 50 bucks I cost him. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyway, fuck. buddy, congrats on the special. <laughs> thanks, man. Let's <laughs> reset. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Push that out of the way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Netflix, oh, it's out right now, gang. You got to check it out. Out right now, unbelievable. Yeah. Very proud of it. Uh, looks cool. Like I said, my buddy Ben directed it. Uh, it's a Paramount in uh, in Austin. You know, just got a couple. It's you know, you know. I, you come to me, you know what you're gonna get. You're sure. gonna get fat jokes. You're gonna get dick jokes. Getting stavi, baby. You're gonna get a little immigrant humor sprinkled sure. in there. <laughs> you're gonna hear about times my dick didn't work. It's just, <laughs> it's That's the, it's the, it's you know. You you get it you some you know some places you just want to go get a nice sandwich sure yeah. and that's what this is this is a nice a nice chicken a nice parm coming chicken down the aisle cutlet, yeah. dude fried just right <laughs> nothing mm -hmm. fancy but done well yeah that's my stand up comedy you're not gonna have to think too much folks <laughs> we are not trying to make points yeah. we are trying to have a good time We're having a fun out of yeah. here <laughs> oh, oh goddamn all uh, right. All right, I have a couple a couple of questions that we it's been a minute since you've been on the yeah, show it and has been. there's been a couple of uh you know now constant questions that have come sure. up that I'd like to pick your brain on. Please. Uh you're getting dressed in the morning, right? You're doing socks and then pants or pants and then socks? Hmm. Pants and socks, I think. Pants then socks. Pants then socks. So. Wow, okay. I think the depending, depending on depending yeah, on Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised with that. I would say de you know why? Because I it is a big guy thing. And it's the efficiency of socks and shoes. It's the, if we're going to go do that oh. horrible, that horrible bending down. I'm putting the shoes where on. Where I'm in excruciating pain to get my <laughs> socks on. I am also slipping my shoes on very fast in that same position. I do the bed. Mm. I sit like sideways on the bed and like almost like I'm sitting half Indian style. Okay. Do one sock yeah, and then yeah, spin yeah. around and do the other sock and mm. then put the pants on. I, I, sometimes I'll even go sock same side shoe. That's nuts. Sock, same side shoe. That's crazy. I've been experiment. You've caught me in an experimental phase when it comes to socks. <laughs> Holy That's shit. That's new. That's new. Okay. You know, you know. Uh, but it also depends on what pants. I hold on to short. As many fat men do, I hold on to shorts uh -huh. deep into, into the, the winter. Deep, but yeah. You know, uh, deep into the winter. So, you know, I have to decide. Am I going to do sweats, whatever? And the socks kind of dip, you know. The socks go are paired with the shoe. You're saying yeah, yeah, yeah. the shoes go and the socks are the same. <clears throat> they they live in the same world in the world. Well, there's the, okay. I'm sorry. Let me be a little clear. There's two separate things here. There is the shoes and sock, the efficiency of shoes and socks back to back. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the if I'm wearing sweatpants or if I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing sweat. If I decide as I'm getting dressed, it's sweatpants time. Then we're wearing a longer sock. Mm -hmm. If I decided shorts, then we're wearing a. Gotcha. So I like a little gotcha. extra optionality. Yeah. Okay. I'm making a go. lot of game time decisions. <laughs> like that. That's what Savi's doing. A lot of he's audibles. going up. He's, he's going yeah. up to the line. He's reading it. He's checking the call. Calling audibles. Yeah. And he's fucking me. Blackjack. Blackjack. <laughs> and you know what else? I'm also a big. I'm also a big like. Uh, uh, um, uh, bare feet all the time, guy. I'm in a, the house, I'm a slippers I'm the same guy. Way, yeah. So sure. that's why it's like socks really are a last minute. They're going on if only I'm leaving the when house. I'm leaving the house. That's when they're going yeah. on. Yeah. Can I say this about the shorts for Please. thinner people out there? If I'm, you, if, I'm listening. And unless you're like, you know, you're taking the subway or you're working outside or something like that, <laughs> I, I'll tell you, you really can push the shorts because if you're going from the house to the car and then into another building. It feels nice. Yeah. If you if you go if you go shorts and a hoodie, shorts and a hoodie, you're, you're cozy enough. Classic fat guy in the winter move. Yeah. Oh, I'll even go the if the sun is hitting me, I'll wear shorts. Yeah. If I'm out when the sun is out. <laughs> I mean, dude, enough. being out in December, 
when it's dark out in shorts is wild. That's crazy. That's crazy. You can't be doing that. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's kind of, <laughs> it, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of refreshing. Yeah. It feels good. But You're you always do, sweating in the house with the heat. You have to be fat as shit, though, for this to work. Let's let's reiterate that. <laughs> yeah. You have for to sure. be. Yeah, there's no also, way. because I think people are just... We should get back to Margaritaville and get some of this on paper. Yeah. <laughs> I think people are conditioned to be like, oh, fat guy in shorts. I get it. Like, they don't, it's, right. the connection's the already made. hot. But if you see a skinny guy in shorts, like, there's a crackhead. Like, yes. something went horribly yes. wrong in this Absolutely. guy's last hour that's that's that true. he's out here in shorts. No, no, that's a good point. That's true. Yeah. What's your slipper situation? Because it's either, like, pink bunny slippers that are now blackened no. or pretty nice, I would imagine. I go, I'm a, I, I have a... Uh, uh fl- it's it's slides and it's a specific brand that has a lot of support. Uh, Ufos. I don't know if you want to bleep it out. No free, no free ads. <laughs> okay. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I like. There's just I'll go like a I'll go like a slipper that's very cushiony. Okay. It's a slide okay. kind of thing, but they stay in the house. I don't want to. Their house shoes. Their house shoes. Yes, yes. But no. You're classy guy. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You have classy elements. There. Yeah, just a little support. Mm-hmm. Have you support upgraded the, the the bed and the bedding and all that stuff? Well, you're in a king, right? I would assume. I am actually. So I have a I have a place in Baltimore. I have a place here. Right. Uh, I have not gotten the king be here because I think I might move to a better place. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <clears throat> you got also, a king down in Baltimore. I have a king. Did I have you more space. when you bought the place? Did you? Is it all? Like, did you put fr- like new furniture and everything in there? Did you hook it all I'm up? I'm still, it's yeah, You're we're dri- still drips kinda, and drabs right yeah, now. Drips and drabs, kind gotcha. of thing. But yeah, so if we walked in there now, we would think a hitman probably not that there. bad. We got a couch, we got a big couch and big ass TV. Day one, <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there is no way I am not having an 89 inch television. Sure, sure. And on the floor, leaned sure. up against the wall sure. with a milk crate as <laughs> yeah, an end table. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you know, we got a little. I still need a little, a little more furniture, a little, gotcha. a little stuff. But okay, we're, we're halfway there. We're and what I, what, what are you sleeping in at night? Are you all fresco shorts? What I'm are you a doing? boxer, just boxers, guy. just boxers. Maybe I'll even let the dick hang a little bit too. <laughs> Maybe I'll go nothing. I've, I've dabbled with nothing. Yeah, nothing's all fresh right. Off sometimes. Shower, you fresh know? off a shower. Fresh off a shower, nothing is you know? great. Yeah, man, I think you sleep better too. I think you might, and I like to. I like it cold as well. Another I another mean, fat guy move. Of course, course. Yeah. I still I, I sleep with the AC on now. Still, nice respect. Hooking. <laughs> yeah, because it's yeah. right above my heater, so it's like a it counteracts it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Is it always shower at night, or is it shower in the morning? I'll or, really let it. I'll really let it. I have no straight shower. Yeah, no line with it. I'm really. If you all got over stuff to do during the day, you're going to be out and about. Probably. Typically, in the I'll tell you this. Typically, I will kind of take. Uh, um, honestly, uh, right before I have to do shit shower, like I will, especially if I have to work out. I'm not wor- I'm not waking up showering them working out. No, of you course know what not. I mean? That's crazy. So <clears throat> it's probably a more. I'll probably take a shower before I have to fucking. You You're know, leaving for the day. Attend an whatever. event. Gotcha. You know, Let, let's say you got nothing. Attend the gala. <laughs> yeah, no thing. The fucking come little Caesars the, is open in the, the story. Come do the garbage <laughs> podcast. You know. Uh huh. Ha. Huh. Okay. If you're not uh. Let's say you you have two three days. You're off the road. You're, mm. You got no pods, no nothing. You're hanging, no plans. And are you? Will you push it those two or three days without your And if you're just in the apartment, ordering right. food, you're like, I'm just posted up. I can, I certainly can. Uh huh. But I probably I don't know that I can go a full three. I was gonna ask you both this. Now yeah. that the winter's here, I push it a little bit. <laughs> I push it a little bit. You push it a little bit. Every it dries season. out my skin. Sure, that's a good it's point. It's a lot of effort. That's a good and point. And there's new studies coming out saying that you shouldn't be showering every a, day. And fat guy quarterly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just published. The only I love that I love when people just look at the studies that they, you know benefit oh, yeah, them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of studies we yeah. should be I got my algorithm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Start reading the ones on heart disease, will you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of studies what out about, about the ones that? on red meat, Foley. <laughs> I say it's all bullshit. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, you know, it'll do, it really depends. Am I up to any stinky activities? Sure. You know, if mm-hmm. I'm working out, if I'm, especially if you're getting pussy, you gotta <laughs> shower. You can't be, you can't yeah, be letting can't be that marinate and, for yeah, you gotta know, take too care long. Of it. No. So I guess Fair push enough. comes to shove. I guess I'm probably saying I'm a nighttime shower guy because it just feels nice. Watch the day off. Feels nice. He kind of got that. me on that on the road, getting, getting back from, from the show and before you get in bed. Taking a hot one. See, because I don't respect the hotel bed, I'll just sometimes pass out. Sure. R- filthy. Yeah. <laughs> that bed. But it does feel better. It does you feel just better. feel like, all right, that's over. Yeah. You know, 
Especially after like a meet and greet, you're just sweaty and hot and meet and greet. Yeah, yeah. You want to wash the animals off. You. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you I sanitize after every hand. <laughs> I'm licking people's fingers. <laughs> so you'll disrespect the hotel bed a little bit. You oh, don't... absolutely. Yeah. That's the whole point of a hotel. Yeah. You know. And what are you leaving tip wise at the hotel? Twenty bucks usually. Leave a twenty. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good luck Good. with that. I'm out the I'm door. Not... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I feel bad. Yeah, exactly. Especially... I I am fucking it up. You will you know, it's good. You're going to get your money's worth. And mm-hmm. I'm not that bad. Especially I'm only there a night who really you know, what damage can you really do? Yeah, especially with the comforter though. I really I just don't Anything. I'll do, if I sneeze, I'm wiping my hand oh, in that. Oh, He's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's brutal if, stuff. If, if, if I'm servicing uh, certain areas of myself, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's good. Well, that's... the towels, I think, is where we all know most of the disrespect should be Wait, well, to. It doesn't yeah. make it there, though. You got to have a towel. I think I'll just lay you. in it. I think about that every yeah. time I grab a towel, and I'm well, like, how oh, many somebody fat jerk- comedians yeah, yes. have jerked but off that, that's the thing, though. at a Sinesta or something? It's bleach. They're, they're washing them with high heat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Spiritually, it's still there. It's still there. It's the yeah. Sin, yeah. Yeah. Energetically, the sins of, that have happened The impressions there. are on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a sad. That towel's tough. They can pull DNA off of that, for sure. I don't know, man. The dirtiest the dirtiest the nastiest thing in a hotel, I think, is that is that towel that they have for the floor mat. Mm. You're not using that, are you? I you just st- said you blow your nose in the comforter, <laughs> and you think the thing meant to fucking step on your feet. That's the thing worse. I hate the most. I you love that it. thing. I use that, dude. I use that one if I pee. If I get out of the shower, it's wet. I use that to mop up peeing on the floor. He, okay. if I you pee can on tell the floor. when Foley's been in a bathroom on the road because yeah, there's yeah. about <laughs> I don't know three liters of urine. <laughs> Okay, I'm a feeling a lot shocking, a shocking amount, yeah, amount yeah, of yeah. a shocking amount of yours. Are you good with that? Or are you missing? I'm not missing the, the you're level not you're, missing. Dis- you're describing. <laughs> really? No, no, man. Yeah, maybe a drip here and there, but I mean, uh, I'm all over the road. Why don't you just piss in the shower then? I do, I do, mm. and a lot of times in in a hotel or at an Airbnb, I'll just pee in the shower. Yeah, but not when I'm in the shower. I'll just oh. walk in there and just pee. Fascinating. Yeah. I really, that's an insane way it to go about It feels great. Things. You come back drunk. That's Why? one step above homeless people. Why? I don't know. Because I don't want to deal with dribbling and all that stuff. What I don't kind know, of a, dribble it, are we talking? It's, yeah. You got, a, you got a bad stream and a short penis? Is and that a, what we're dealing with? Let, <laughs> let, let's say. That's a start. <laughs> <laughs> let's say a double espresso's worth of liquid. Okay. On the floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he's getting close enough. (laughs) I'm not sure. I don't get close enough. I I got to try to see see where I'm going. And then a lot of it's on the dismount. Mm. It's like when they do those aerial refuelings between jets. Yeah. It's just, you know. It's the same thing as that. (laughs) (laughs) Exact same thing. A good looking guy in an F-14 Tomcat. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. This is interesting because I, you know, I'm also a a very, a very fat man. (laughs) And I have a small penis. And I'm going to say even, and a weak stream for that matter. And I will say. I got a good stream. You have a good stream. I have a good stream. Then this really feels like just carelessness it's, on your it's part. It's for sure carelessness. It might be. This feels like the kind of and thing And listen, you you're an fix. animal. It happens. I get it. Then you, you And you know it's there. You know that we're sharing a. Listen, right. if he's got his own bathroom, what he does is. He, his, his he does. Business. If we're having Airbnb, he stays on the first floor. Big man don't like stairs. <laughs> so if there's a room on the first floor, big man calls it. If there's not, first I catch move. a ration of shit. Yeah. And he's got to go up and yeah. or downstairs. Front of the house, baby. <laughs> I'm head of security. <laughs> no one's getting by me. No, yeah. Everyone's going to oh, no. slip on Dude. your piss. <laughs> 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 Kippy, I got him! <laughs> You're just laying there in your CPAP you know, machine? <laughs> yeah, I have to say, I'm feeling a lot better about how I behave. In the, I thought I was a filthy animal, but what you were describing is deplorable behavior. Yeah, no, I'm pretty bad. <laughs> so you really got to get that But together. I'll put all my towels in a little pile and stuff like that and clean up a little bit. I'll throw my trash yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just don't touch now, the sheets. I would rather you leave the towels wherever <laughs> and not just piss not on do the what floor. You yeah. But hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm really was just talking about really fucking up the towels. And I try not to, you know, wipe. Sneezing in the comfort is one of the most despicable things <laughs> I've ever heard. Um, but, you know, to each his own, I suppose. <laughs> sure. I would call. I would really like it if you stopped doing that. Just. <laughs> Just like I feel some responsibility that you told me this, that I need to be on record as being 
heavily against this, <laughs> not approving. Ah, it's and so I, funny. Are you garbage was here last night? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Please, yeah, just every time you're in a city, please email me your itinerary. <laughs> so I, I will make sure not to stay there. Um, Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like we shouldn't bring this up, but we were just there. Dude, 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 uh, Tebow went into the bathroom after him recently yeah. at an Airbnb, and there was toilet paper with poop on it on uh, the floor. On what the, the floor? hell is Patreon content? <laughs> it's on the floor. How did that happen? Well, it's funny, yeah. <laughs> um, so how did that happen? Yeah, yeah, walk us through it. <laughs> it's it's careless. I thought I connected. Right. And I didn't. It, mm. I hit the rim and, and, and bounced off, and I didn't see it when I got Why up. Why are you shooting three-pointers? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I, I can answer that. I can answer test that. Test the skills. Because he's not. A fat person cannot wipe his ass on the toilet. This is a stand up and wipe your ass situation. I have a now. Now I'm at, now. I have a system of pulleys. Yeah. <laughs> I hire three guys. <laughs> uh, before the Ozempics, it was it was a nightmare. Mm-hmm. It was like an absolute nightmare. But now now I have the reach and I and you I have, have long arms. Yeah, I can I can do my thing a little bit. Nice. Man. But I I you know it's still. Like maybe I, on the way out. Yeah, fell. and it just it. it just hit the rim and, and bounced. <laughs> but then I didn't realize it, and I did, I did one flush first. I do one flush before I go in there. Sure. To wipe. Okay. And then I forgot to flush again. That's how I got. That's how I got. That's how this all mm. came to light. Because Toby went in there to use the bathroom. He's like, "Fuck, somebody didn't flush." And right. then I went in there, and then so I saw someone the, shit in the sink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw the the the, the yeah. These but the, are but the craziest part was that he stepped on it. Like I wouldn't see it. Like he was trying to hide. I didn't. It. I did. I thought it was just a regular piece of toilet paper, which you would leave on the floor. You yes. wouldn't just pick that up, also. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't work there. <laughs> you think You're I'm just sharing a common people. space with your friends. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. All of this behavior is things a four-year-old child <laughs> should, should he not. He plays do it anymore. fast and loose. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to tighten up. No. Which, like, that's why, like, we work very well together. It's like, yeah, you stay on the first floor. Right. And right, I'll do right. all of my yep. room. My grooming is in another right. location. Got to keep yep. your distance. Yeah. Right. You can have this. Toby's the collateral damage. <laughs> he's Toby gotta, gets Toby, hit sometimes. Toby's got to, yeah, he's got to, he needs some. If Toby has some piss-soaked socks every once in a while. He hey, leaves them everywhere. That's the cost too. of doing business. <laughs> hey, man, it's good work if you can get it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tough break, big guy. Sorry uh, about that. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get into some. Uh, I have one more for you, and then we'll Please. get into some Patreon questions. Uh, you, you very rarely get the fucking the 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 garbage connoisseur of Stavi. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He's mm-hmm. he's very well versed in, lo- in many areas of life. Absolutely. What are you banging with out of TGI Fridays, Olive Garden, and Applebee's? Oh wow! Because we've we're very well documented us on Domino's VP, of course, which Pizza Hut, which we, we don't have to we stare up. I don't. Yeah, we don't have to. <laughs> We don't have to open up old wounds, but <laughs> we still should have the taste test someday. Maybe when you guys come on Stavi's World, we'll Ooh. do an official taste test. A lot of people have been hitting me up about the the remnants of Pizza Hut. That hey, right. there's one, there's one outside of Chicago. Right. Yeah, there's one 25 minutes from my house. They still do the indoor dining. Right. You know what I want? It we want to do one of the things we were talking about trying to do with you is going yes. finding the last buffet, one of the buffets. Yeah, that would be and beautiful. And the, uh, the three of us go. That would, would be, be beautiful. I bet, um, I bet it still hits. Oh, it's it's absolutely, got to. absolutely, it's got absolutely, boys. <laughs> That's absolutely. all I'm hanging on to yeah. in life. Here. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. Uh, say, give it to Fridays, give it to Fridays, Olive Garden, or Applebee's, and or if not one of those, what's what? What you know? I was always a Chili's guy. Chili. My family was always into Chili's. Okay. Um, Respected. And and honestly, even Outback Steakhouse. Whoa. Um, okay. And so hoity toity. I know. We were not a big Olive Garden family. I can't. I'm speak. I can't. Sure. I think I've been Olive Garden once in my life. Fridays. Um, I didn't really go to Eldis swears by the Jack Daniels burger to this day. It's pretty that good. That sauce he's a, is he's a big Jack right. Daniels guy. That'll shoot your A1C <laughs> yeah. through the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but think that's, that's the only thing I've had. I think I've only gone with him when we were children. They, Fridays has the best sampler. 
Ooh. the best appetizer oh, sampler in I, the game. I when they were doing the like, what was it, five dollar uh, like unlimited or something, something $15 like that, dollars unlimited. Yeah, I got, I went for that. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, I must say. <laughs> um, I went I, for that. I, 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 hey, a good deal's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, we it was some weird thing where it was like a bunch of fr- back in Baltimore. We went to go see Planet of the Apes. Two and okay. then go to TGI Fridays for the unlimited apps. Nice, um, a nice little Friday night, right absolutely. there. Absolutely, um, I'm sure that was filled with the. Your crew was a bunch of athletes. Uh, in <laughs> you know, it was a bunch of weird. It was very strange. It was a bunch of like weird alt artist types okay. that like don't go to TGI, don't go to malls at all. Mm-hmm. It was a very strange crew. I was the most like normal person mainstream there, without, got, without they, question. They all got sick afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Their digestive they, system they can't handle, handle it. it. Couldn't yeah. handle it. Um, I probably would. Go, I mean, Chili's the baby, ba- the classic baby back rib. Okay. Yeah, they're right. Um, but I, I, wh- I, what I thought was classy was I would start getting the like sirloin. I would start getting Whoa. steak at Chili's at, towards the end of my Chili's days. Yeah, till the end of your run. Till the end of my run, and uh, you know, I they had a corn. I sometimes I would get corn and fries. That was kind of my okay. combo. I they had like a buffalo popper chicken thing in the mm-hmm. mix there. Sure. I'm ashamed to say I've abandoned my roots and I haven't eaten at a chain like this in quite some time. Although, where the fuck was I just? The sirloin is where Orlando. you end up because that's what your that's what dads always got. Yeah, they yeah. always got the steak the and the baked exactly. potato. Yeah, 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 when yeah. I was like 14, I was like, I'm the man, I'm a man of the house. Now. Yes, <laughs> I deserve a sirloin from Chili's as well. Mm-hmm. Pop, we I, got, I got this one. Can we do three checks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm uh, all you right. Know, it's a respectable. What would answer. be the occasion to hit, to hit a Chili's in the in the Halkius family? Could it just be a Friday night or a Thursday would, night? We would maybe twice a month hit up like a Chili's Apple. There was an Applebee's that opened at East. Shout out to East Point Mall. Mm-hmm. Uh, it took over a. Um, the first place I ever got a steak was a restaurant called King's Court Whoa. in East Point Mall. That was like a set. It was like a you. It was almost like a cafeteria style steakhouse, oh, man. where you like pick out. I know out, exactly what you're you talking about. You pick out your fucking sides and shit, and then yeah. you order a steak, and they, you know, if they bring, the only thing they bring you is the steak. All the sides and shit are there, right. and uh, that was a great experience. I had like a fucking T-bone steak as a child because mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I just thought it looked cool in the cartoons. That's one of the most sure. classic steaks. Like the way pizza is drawn a specific way in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When they draw a steak in cartoons, yeah. it's a T-bone steak yeah. because it looks a certain way. I couldn't finish any of that it. That dog you know? on Tom and Jerry's was always crushing <laughs> yes, ones. Yes, yes, Spike yeah. always had a fresh one on the grill. <laughs> exactly. Man, he made it look good. He had the chef hat it, and everything. It was probably it. Spike that got oh, me to want a T-bone steak. Yeah. That and the ham was always really good, too. Oh, spiral oh, ham. Spiral crushing the a ham. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and then, unfortunately, uh, big business took over. Corporate America Corporate came America in. Uh, crushed King's Court under King's its Court heel, and Applebee's took over that space. Okay, and for the first two years, it was actually pretty good. And it was still, we would get steak there because we were like, well, this must be a steakhouse, like, <laughs> you know, oh, there was Court. a steakhouse here before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All the dry cleaners, you're like, and it was good. Uh huh. And then it eventually it falls fell off. They, they all fall you know. off. They all come out swinging. Yeah, they're all they're all towing the corporate line. Yeah. The manager yeah. scares. Yeah. The, there's like a regional guy there launching exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. He gets out. The new guy comes and it new fucking sucks. He's yeah, not yeah, doing yeah. the inventory. No. Nah. They they're just start slipping. The... They start cutting back on servers and they're yeah. overworking the servers yeah. and then yeah. they get psycho. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Damn. All okay. right. All righty. I do have to say that is one thing from like the two things that I. Like having money is like the meals have been upgraded to the point where it's like I'm not going to a unless I'm on the road and I'm in like some horrible mall. Sure, I'm not going to a Margaritaville like we did yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to a sick restaurant and like because I travel so much, I'll fucking I'll just get the most comfortable possible seat in whatever I'm on. Sure, you know, like yes. those are the two things that it's like I can't. I I really am enjoying everything yeah. else. Sucks. You and have the sweatsuits. More, and the sweatsuits. Yeah. Hey, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forget I just about have those tank tops either. <laughs> I have more of those. I, I still was a sweatsuit guy even yeah. back. I made the money where I found the money back in the day <laughs> for sweatsuits. I cut the fat in other yeah. places. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Who has to pay rent? I got these yeah. suits I got to get. <laughs> you got the chains glistening, by the way. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. You got a great look today. Thank you, thank great you. And do you have a guy that you're going to? Do you have a jeweler guy? Where are you picking these up? Yeah, I have a. I have a friend who she knows about jewelry stuff i, I consult her and i just kind of bought a couple i'm not a tattoo guy yeah i'll get a couple chains uh to to mark a nice occasion sure i bought this for the special 
Nice. Uh, and uh, I'll probably rock this for a while, and then you know, when I cel- to celebrate things, I'll probably buy a nice little piece of jewelry. As a you know, but I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. You sure. Get JMW, melt that down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far away are you from becoming a ring guy? I'll have some rings and I'll wear them on like a, I wore a ring on. I wore a pinky ring on the special nice. actually. Check nice. it out. The pinky uh, is gonna come back. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, without question. Yes. I just am a very forgetful person, so I don't want to just day to day wear rings because yeah. I will. I fidget a lot. I'll lose them. You know this kind of thing. But I'll I'll wear them out. I'll wear them if I'm going to something. If I'm I'm definitely a ring guy, uh, and uh, yeah, I think I think I want to get a nice watch next again. Just a just a do classy it. move. They're nice, nice um, watches. All right, but I don't want to overdo it. I want to like, I don't know, subtle. Just a little, yeah. Just Still something. too much money if we're being honest, <laughs> but like not a crazy amount. Right. Um, and people say that watches actually hold their value. I. It is it is despicable to me that I know things like this now. Mm-hmm. You know that part makes me feel bad. I feel like a traitor. Just like for a big trader moment I had is I, I, I was in a hotel. Oh, that actually holds its value well. Yeah, I did. I just say that? That's quite a good investment. Yeah, it sucks oh, that I know what investments are now. Depends but, on the market, really. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> What's dude, gold trading at today? Dude, I had the moment where I was like, ugh, I'm a piece of shit, is when I went to a hotel and like, I just knew the sheets were bad. First really? time in my life, <laughs> I knew the sheets were bad. Damn. And I couldn't sleep because the sheets were bad. And no I was like, shit. I was like, who have I become? Hi, this I is used- Mr. Halkius in the penthouse. <laughs> What's the thread count? It was brutal. They were bad. I was itchy. I was like, whatever. Oh. I was like, ugh, what is this? And I remember, like, I would Stabby's just sleep. an indoor cat. Dude, I would just sleep on like bare couches for years. <laughs> <Yeah>. My <laughs> first with bed a nickel on your face. My first bed in New York was just a very used <laughs> IKEA pull-out couch yeah. that I just put in the corner of a bedroom and slept on. Mm-hmm. Like, that was it. Using I a didn't... pistachio shell as a pillow. <laughs> yeah. It was, I was like, ugh, <laughs> who the pitch. fuck am I? Yeah. So that was a really brutal moment where I'm like, I know what bad... Not only do I know that a sheet is bad, but it, it bothers me. It bothers me. you. I'm the princess in the fucking pee over here. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was talking to my buddy about this. It's because, you, you know, you travel so much. You experience all of this stuff right. so frequently and high intensity that you're like, yeah, I stayed in... I don't know, 75 hotel yeah, rooms yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Most yeah. people don't supposed to stay in 75 hotel rooms in their life. Of course, you know, of so course. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could tell if the eggs are powdered at the, at the yeah. breakfast. Which oh, I yeah, like yeah. a powdered egg. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't mind them. They're all right. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> yeah, a couple no. links of sausage. You guys are out of your mind. You got to get out of there. <laughs> no, no, you listen, can't be having uh, this breakfast like that. I, I know. That's how you feed the crew, huh? Huh? That's, how, that's how, Toby's like Toby, get the Ziploc out. <laughs> we're having these for lunch too. Cass, we're bringing Cassidy back some sausage links. Make a couple. Some make a couple of waffles. We don't even links. bring that to Cassidy with us. No, no, we no. just give yeah, him the whole. Yeah. He's up in the room. <laughs> no, I love. I do. My, I have such a bad. I have such a white trash garbage yeah, palate. Yeah. I love chicken parm. Is like my. Of that would be my meal. If I if I was getting killed, it would be like give yeah, me a chicken yeah, parm yeah, sandwich yeah, from yeah. Aldo's in Holland, yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Shout out to it. Hell yeah. Um, but I do love the I do like a nice omelet. I like a nice place, but like I do just love the shitty, shitty, shitty food. Yeah. My they bar food. I love bar food. Yeah, it's still great for sure. But I I don't know. I'll still crush it. But I'm, it's also like that is my shitty food is my biggest problem. Like yeah. My yeah, biggest yeah. biggest addiction more than drugs or fucking anything. Mm-hmm. And so I try and just like eat a little better but dude i'll go to buffalo wild wings right now <laughs> i'll go I got right the app. i'll go right the fuck now uh-huh, it's yeah. in my blood i'm of just course. trying to i'm trying to get it is funny because it's like man everything i'm trying to do to improve my life is just like that is so much who i was you know what i mean which is like who the fuck am, is even left if i'm yeah, eating if I, salads yeah. sure. i'm eating salads i'm sleeping on nice sheets this guy's like, a fraud who the fuck am i yeah dude? it sucks i know have you had cheese fries in the last year Wow, great question. <laughs> and you got a lot of nerve asking it. Yeah, I'll tell yeah. you that. I can't say that I have. I've had plenty of fries, but I well, haven't, had, stop, I haven't right? had cheese fries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that was a mainstay. You're right. That's you like a, big... a crabby fry, I would assume, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the crab fry. He likes the that. dust on it. I'll do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with some Damn. lump. With some jumbo lump on there, too, not just Whoa. the dust thing. Or some crab dip, which is actually kind of a cheesy fry now that I think about it. Crab dips, yeah, very you know? in that world, yeah. Crab dips, all right. And shout out to Nacho Mamas in Canton. 
That's your spot. Good, good crab dip. Good Canton, crab. Ohio? Canton, uh, the, you had the no trouble plugging them, did you? Yeah, 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 <laughs> no yeah, free yeah. ads. Yeah. Slipper company, you don't give a yeah, shit about yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Nacho no, Mama no. comes up. No, no, no. I got We got to support. We got to support <laughs> the local. Shout Jimmy out Seafood has a nice. <laughs> let's let's get them all, dude. Now let's get I them all. <laughs> Good crab omelet at Sip and Bite. <laughs> Man, shout out to a crab omelet. <laughs> and the Baltimore Ravens and all their subsidiaries. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> 100%. First time I ever had Eggs Benedict mm. was Crab it was Ooh. Crab Eggs Benedict. It blew my f- It was at yeah. Silk City nice. in Philly. Love I thought it. that Man. was rich people food. Yes. Uh, dude, I was 20 I might have been 30 the first yeah. time I had, and had it was probably, Eggs Benedict. It was Crab. When you see an Eggs Benedict and it says and the number next to it starts with a 2 it's a twenty something. Mm-hmm. You're like, Jesus. Well, that would, I don't. I don't think anybody in my. I don't think anybody in my whole family's lineage ever had eggs Benedict. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. Are we all splitting this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets Crazy. a bite. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. There, um, was, there was there was a there was a place called Tiffany's near our house that was real real nice, and we went there once. And they did like a brunch thing, and the whole thing, we all got the eggs Benedict, mm. and you only we we all had one. It was didn't even Larry. come in two. Jeez. Yeah, we thought we were like, wow, we thought we were the Kennedy. One egg Ben, it's that's egg Benedict. <laughs> yeah, <one> egg Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> just trash oh, but God. we thought that we oh, they yeah. talked about it for a week before we went that's incredible. and months after we left yeah crazy <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it all through the year i get it no i get it i mean that's the same thing when we took my mom like my mom for her birthday dinner when we started taking her to real restaurants she would like fight it at first she be, literally she she kept trying to get us to take her to panera bread shout out to and it was PB. just like no <laughs> It's your fuck. She's like, I don't need this. This is too much, uh-huh. you know. And it's like, just have a fucking nice dinner for yeah. once in in the last forty years. Sure, like please sure. have a nice dinner. Dude, Panera bread. That's yeah, awesome. she loves so Panera. Dude. Let's go. Do you Super want bowl. to go to Panera? <laughs> like constantly, she's constantly advocating for Panera bread. <laughs> you <laughs> the, can eat the bowl. The chicken fontega sandwich, big hit, <laughs> big hit. Dude, I'll never forget. First time I ever went to Panera bread, I was like, still a big eater. I didn't know anything. I'm like, I'm not. Not doing a salad. I wasn't eating salads yeah. and shit. Man, I got like it was potato soup in the bread bowl, and the Ooh. guy's like, "Are you sure?" Ooh, I was like, car- "Buddy, carb on carb. hit me with it." Yeah, hell yeah, dude. It's like eating bread soup. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. The broccoli cheddar. Oh, you got to do that. Man, yeah. come on. Yeah, I don't think I was eating broccoli at that point in my life. Yeah, that's um, when I was like, "Oh, this is healthy." Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, "There's broccoli in here." Yeah. Uh, all right, let's do, uh, let's do one or two questions here, and then we can we, we got to skedaddle. Uh, this Whatever one's need, just baby. funny. This was from Liam. I've never seen my parents drink water. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, no I shit. don't think I my mom. I don't think I've ever seen my dad. It was Diet Coke or regular Coke. Right. Dad never drank water. No. Never. Yeah. No. I. That's a good question. We. I think Greek people would do make a big show of drinking water. Mm. Rub it in your like, face a little like, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like to like on a hot day. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of gulps and going ah yeah 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 Yeah, a lot of that a lot i just remember water being an almost like an exclusively summertime drink sure where it's like you know you know because it's a very very arid climate in greece so Mm -hmm. i think they're they're staying they're staying uh uh, hydrated but it's tough to drink water in the winter when it's cold it's like dude it's like (laughs) drinking razor blades We were a big Crystal Light family yeah we were big Crystal Light family love that Yeah, yeah i saw my dad drink that diet root beer Beer, mm. and every morning as he's rushing out the door, he would take a cup of coffee, pour a little bit out, put cold water in it, crush it, pour a little cold water, crush it, and crush it, and crush it until he got it all down, and then go out the door. Psychopath. So he would a, just get all his water down in one kind yeah. of... With more no, but he would do it just to cool the coffee so, so he, he could, could slam it. The coffee. Then Gosh. he would have a massive panic attack around like 3 o'clock yeah, from yeah, crushing yeah. the coffee. God damn. And they had to kick him that's off the caffeine. W- <laughs> that's a wild way to drink yeah. coffee and water. Yeah. yeah no, no fun just getting getting the, the drug in you. No, I love I love the, the idea. Door. I love the idea of the pe- of people who just do not have, you know. that, that I had a joke where I was describing like, uh, uh, like the kinds of people. I don't remember what the fuck it was like. Was just I was just describing a type of woman in Baltimore, and one of the things I would say was like hasn't 
had water. Sure. You know, it's been diet, you know, diet Pepsi every day of her life. Uh, Sierra missed Sprite when she has a cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, of course. that's the other thing. It's like yeah. all the lemon lime soda was the health. That yeah. was water. Uh, ginger ale? You know, Forget yeah. Ginger ale. That, 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 that has medicinal purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's proven. Yeah. Man. Damn. Ginger ale. Were you some... at Sprite or Sierra Mist? Because to me, the Sierra Mist is the trashier. Of... No, we were Sprite for sure. Seven Up? We were big Seven Maybe Up. Maybe a little Seven, seven Up. Seven Up was all right, I feel. Seven Up got to us first. I'm older. So yeah. Seven Up. And they had an ad campaign that knocked it out of the park. It was a guy. Like in the Bahamas, wearing like you know, like uh, wow. like Tommy Bahama stuff, and he did the Sprite never or Seven Up never had it, never will. The caffeine, they they mm. all they pushed the no caffeine, mm. and that dude it was crisp. <laughs> it was crisp. That's <laughs> insane. Nice you were there at the with the unveiling of Seven Up. You remember that, huh? I not when it not when it came out, but it was before. It was pre Sprite before really? Sprite got big. Yeah, I don't remember a world pre Sprite. I have to no, be honest. Yeah. for sure. Wow. Yes, because Sprite started. Creeping into their market. I think I feel like Sprite is king, right? Easily. Yeah, yeah. that's the best. Hey, it's got yeah. it's got the fucking power of Coca Cola behind. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You know exactly. What I mean? Sprite's all right. Yeah. Yep. Um. All right. Let's see here. This one's from Real Bozo. Is it garbage to use a lint roller on your face after? Face and body after a haircut instead of just taking a shower. <sighs> Without question, that's Can't crazy. Do it. It's kind of strange. It makes sense though. It's strange to, that you would even. It's crazy that the person who would think to do that would have access to a lint roller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's kind of the thing. It's that's, definitely that's, stolen. That's what's not adding up here. But it's absolutely. That guy shouldn't garbage. be able to spell lint roller. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, put yeah. back on the shelf at yeah. CVS <laughs> on his way out the door. Yes, you're right. He walks in. It just fucking. Yeah. Takes can you, two sips of a fucking sprite, puts it back. Can you get a haircut and then go out and do your day, or do you have to get right in the shower? I haven't been a haircut guy in so long. Because yeah. I went from bald to growing my hair out. Are you okay. Trimming so it at all or no? I'll do a little. Tri- I'll do yeah. little trims. I got to get right in the shower time. after a haircut. Yeah. I cannot fucking. I can't go anywhere. I'm, I'm yeah. itching. Yeah, Foley really flexing his head of hair with that question. I know. He's just really like, like, <laughs> one guy who's let it go and one guy who's holding on to it. <laughs> you get haircuts? What are you talking about? Talking about when you were a kid, you got haircuts. This is all CGI, dude. Where do you think all that Patreon money's going? Uh, fuck. <laughs> you should, you, what, you guys don't you, sell your hair after after, uh, <laughs> after you, you get a cut? There's you should sc- get plugged up, dude. What the fuck? No. Come on. No. Can't be. I don't, on. Here's my thing on plugs. He's zemped up. You're plugged up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's get it going. He Let's... gets fucking cut. Yeah, I, yeah. Start, I start yeah. getting good looking. Yeah. <laughs> Hairline starts right here. Dude, that would be fucking awesome. The new podcast, Are You Hot? Yeah. Um, I would love that. You guys should do that. Every year you should do just, some like some kind of like plastic surgery. <laughs> just like, because it's Are You Garbage? And then by the end of it, you should just be like, Completely face doesn't move. Face doesn't move. Just like blonde hair, uh-huh. like right back. Completely sold out. Yeah. Yeah. It would be. That's the natural art. That is true for the garbage. Yeah. Like a garbage person Absol- would. That's what fucking, I'm saying. Yeah, that's course. what I'm saying. Makes sense. I got I, a set of fake tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've always said I would do. I one. It's it's not a pain point for me. Like yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't. Fun. I genuinely don't care. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna just ride it into the sunset. Whatever. But I said I would do plugs as long as I could guarantee. And I know, obviously, we have friends and people you yep. know, have publicly done it. Um, I just don't want. I want them to look good enough to where. Because no one's going to tell you they look bad. Yeah. They're going to go, no, they oh, will. looks good. And I then behind will. your back and go, what I the will. Fuck? The thing is. Four times a week on this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I promise you. The thing is, we do. Li- we have. We're in a group of like our friends will tell you if it looks bad. I don't, I but think. I think that's a thing. Once it's in, it's so permanent. People are just gonna be like, "Oh, cool." I think you could always take. You could always just shave your shit or something. I don't know. You get them yanked out. They look good these days. Who wants man. to do that? <laughs> They're <laughs> looking good these days. They do look great. I, the people that I know have them look I, fucking fantastic. I just think it's also very expensive. This year is the year of Foley on Ozempic. Uh-huh. Next year is the year of you on plugs. All right. Then we're doing a little chin filler, maybe a little. <laughs> yeah, lift sure. You know I'll put I mean? the butt. I'll put the yeah, dimple yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slowly, we just got to get you guys looking more and more like what trash does when they get well, money. Yeah, that's like awesome. lottery winner. A couple type of cheek pi- cheek implants. Yeah. Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> Let's go. I'm walking around with a dumper. <laughs> I I'm going to go I I will get plugs when I'm like 60 Because I want to go I always want to When everybody's doing everything I want to go the opposite direction Sure So I want to be an old man With beautiful hair Just show up Just that. beautiful hair dude Out of <laughs> nowhere awesome. I've had hair like this for 30 years And then I show up with fucking awesome Just yeah Just Flick it Silver back. too <laughs> Now I've, I dye it like a silver fox mm-hmm. I look incredible I look like wise and hot <laughs> right. Wise and hot yeah, yeah. yeah I've got it all planned out uh, it's Looking good But like, we gotta it. wrap it up gang 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Whatever. Stavros Halkius. Oh, he said, let's do one more. All let's right. Do one more. Do we one answer more. one guy. A board. On, I think we did two. A board. A board. Um, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. Now, now they're going to suck. This guy's <laughs> yeah, now, now, this guy's now there's really... a lot of pressure on me pulling yeah, a good yeah, question. Yeah. Yeah. Let's end it. I don't no, no. You guys ever uh, bite your fingernails? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Uh, all right, this one's pretty good. This is from Fritz. $10 homie, never had one read. Is it garbage if you knew one of the kids on an episode of Scared Straight? Oh, <laughs> that's so that's fucking... Real. You're running with a bad crowd that's if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. They got Ronnie. That's a no good. Absolutely garbage. I remember when that dropped the next day in school, everybody's like, did you fucking see? That was the realest shit anyone's yeah. ever seen. It's petrifying. My oh, mom always God. scared me with that stuff. It wasn't It wasn't that, but it was. there was a home, St. Gabe's. That's where they would send you. And oh, they would man. come and get you. Keep doing it. I'm gonna send you to St. Gabe's. <laughs> and they, they, she's like, she she used to fake calling That's that awesome. the guys were coming to get me. Jesus, like Christ. go upstairs and pack. They're coming. They're pack. Yeah, that's, Jeez, fucking, that's fucking, awesome. fucking psychological warfare, <laughs> yeah. dude. Why would you do that to a nine year old? Yeah, well, it really worked. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't develop any. He fucking went psychological peeing on the floor. Problems. Yeah, I'm scared to death. They're gonna take me away. <laughs> uh, Ladies and right. gentlemen, Mr. Stavros Halkius, brand new special out on Netflix, Fat Rascal. Do yourself a favor, get over and check it out. He is one of the funniest, one of the hardest working, one of the, one of the most successful guys working today. Best Killing in the biz, dude. Thank you, one fellas. of the best in Appreciate the biz, it. man. Well, we love you, buddy. Thanks for having me. And of, of course, course Stavi's World. Stavi's World, listen to it. Uh, yeah, a year. It's been a year of Stavi's World. You guys were the first, we're, yeah, first you were batch the, of them. You were them, like I think, in the yeah. third, you're like the third episode, I think. Uh, come back. We love, we love that. We love to have you uh, in a nice first batch of the net of this year's. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, please listen to the pod, watch the special, everything, and thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, you're buddy. the best, buddy. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, we're all over the road. Still tickets left uh, for coming up for DC, and that second show Woo! at the Fillmore in Philly is about to sell out. Yeah. If it's not already, get them freaking tickets, gang. We'll see you out there. Love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.